2010 with diesel laptops. We're connecting to a 2014 Mercury 50 horsepower command thrust. We're connected to the Terminator with the AM25 to the AM01 can. You notice with the red block is the AM01 can. down so like mercury and we'll scroll through all these engines and find the 50 command thrust it's like 995 IE or CC's this tells you that it's 2011 and up on this model you select petrol injection Click this, this will give you the connector. You go over here to the AM01 can with the AM25 to the Terminator. I'm going to confirm. Hit next. Ignition is on. This is a four cylinder. I'm going to select four cylinder. Two new fault codes found on this engine. We'll go to the parameters. We have 21 of them. Scroll down. Let's see. Near the status. ECU info. Activations. We'll go ahead and test the buzzer. You should hear it in the background. Engine history. And that'll bring up all the hours at the RPM range. The total functioning hours 36 hours and 48 minutes. And hit confirm, it will give you a print screen. You can print that out. Come down here, we can do the idle air control valve. You may be able to hear it clicking in the background as it goes through. Do ignition coil test. Do one and four cylinders. It's complete. Come down here and we'll do an injector test. Injector number three. Can you hear that click in the background?
You can also do a speedometer test, self-test, go into settings, give it an engine location, instrument con configuration, and come up here. Uh, that'll give you the navigation of uh, TXT box series or TXB measurement unit. Come down here, get the technical documentation, go to vehicle sheets, see the boat CAN bus interface, throttle lever switch unit, engine management switch module, to find the serial number. This will give you a connection with the terminator or junction box. Thanks for watching. This is Tim with Diesel Laptops. Uh, again, we're connected to a 2014 Mercury 50 control command thrust uh, with the taxi unit. Thank you.